this. Nice. Let's make sure we're there. We are, we are. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is September 2nd, 2023. And we're doing a live stream on investing and in personal finance, economics. And it's definitely related to politics as well. And we're live streaming on Twitch and on Rumble. I want to pop out the chat here on Rumble. Let's see. Come on. Pop out chat. And our Rumble is kicking in. Our Twitch kicks in almost instantly. And Jelen in the house. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. We haven't done a investing personal finance live stream for a while so uh, it was about time we do one because things are getting interesting uh, the market multiple markets <laughs> the everything bubble is uh, testing things elder god good morning 3 a.m for elder god for those of you in the uk and germany would be 4 a.m i guess and so on and so forth apologies about the about the early early or late late uh evening early morning stream uh coming to you guys uh but uh, it was a time that uh, i could get one done so uh we scheduled it in uh, i had the house uh, to myself my partner's djing uh, in a restaurant and we haven't been on the in this part uh the bookshelf for a while and i'm missing these streams i'm missing doing the live streams here and it is starting to get rainy season unpredictable outside uh, so we're going to start doing more inside streams jalan i jumped on my computer to start studying <laughs> you popped up perfect timing <laughs> depends what you're studying we might be talking about what it is what it is that you're studying right maybe maybe possibly possibly if it's politics and economics, it could be. It could be. Uh, gang, while we wait for notifications to go out, people start rolling in. Uh, we'll see. Uh, today is Saturday, so we'll see how many people uh, decide to watch an economics live stream on a Saturday. Uh, let me do my little intro here. Uh, if you want to follow this work, we're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. You can definitely work there. Uh, Jalen, no, I'm studying for school. Um, and electrician as of august sir nice nice as of this august as of like last month you're official electrician or studying to become an electrician and great career yes sir you're an electrician Woohoo! great career like uh from the looks of it if we want to talk about investing personal finance i'm an apprentice wireman awesome awesome um uh, the trades are pretty much guaranteed you're going to have a job if you want it for the next few years. Uh, and you could almost write your own price on there, what you want to charge. Jay Powell, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, and a whole salutation. Karuzi, the crazy salutations. Welcome to our live stream. We're going to do a salute. Uh, we're going to, I think, polish off the Jameson today possibly maybe not maybe not but we're gonna do a salute with whiskey okay to the follow and it is hot here right now it's weird the temperature is all wacko okay but i'm gonna have it with ice lots of ice lots of ice i want it cool salute gang delicious delicious eduardo same for me just sat at the computer <laughs> i'm ruining people's uh homework cheryl how are you doing salutations hope you're doing well you idiot <laughs> for those of you that don't know on our gilded server we've been talking about red and stimpy and uh that is something that uh, Ren says to Stimpy. 
often. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> it's one of the one of the sayings that we used to have between our friends, and we still do. One of my other friends that I've known for I don't know three decades now. It's it's something that we almost say to each other um when we see each other when we when we when we're chilling and whatnot it's hilarious it's hilarious and if you've never watched ren and stimpy man you're missing out <laughs> it is definitely not a politically correct uh animation from the 1990s and it is brilliant brilliant Shame out, nice job. I did some of that, some of that work myself in the past. Nice, nice. Snave, vi vibed. Snave, vibe. Snave, vibed. Snave, vibe. Interesting name. Salute. Welcome to our live stream. First time chat. j Paul, remember Ren telling Stimpy, "Don't forget to uh, was where the sun don't shine." <laughs> <laughs> awesome Cheryl I tried explaining the powder toast man and the flying butt flyers bit to my son definitely needs a visual <laughs> everything with Ren and Stimpy needs a visual but once you've seen it things from Ren and Stimpy <laughs> references the visuals instant the visual is instant. <laughs> Sir Bunny. <laughs> Thursday. That's the history. That's the history of Razor Button. You fool. <laughs> By the way, Ren and Stimpy, a compatible cartoon, but not. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy was way more politically incorrect, way raw, way underground. Uh, as opposed to the one I'm about to mention to you. But if you like Pinky and the Brain, you will love, well, you won't say <laughs> you might appreciate Ren and Stimpy. I love Pinky and the Brain and I loved Ren and Stimpy. Okay. Elder God, uh, I was falling asleep. So put on a B movie about a asteroid hitting Earth. It's so bad that I've been screaming at the screen. <laughs> Which one is it? There's one I tried to watch. It, it was so brutal. I couldn't even do more than like five minutes, I think. I forget. I forgot the name. It was like so bad. Eduardo Chicho. I was just checking TikTok. <laughs> and I noticed that there is a huge trend here in Brazil of kids getting into digital marketing, selling products they don't even own, whatever is trending by making ads. What do you think of that? Uh, sure 15 minutes right maybe you can make a quick cash quick buck maybe the type of ad you make will shine a little light on you and propel you into justin bieber land <laughs> beaver beaver land i don't know i don't know i got banned off tiktok and after 10 days of being on there so i don't really go on there <laughs> Cheryl, we watched it in high school. I can't imagine having kids watch it. I'm, I know, like j these fragile little kids, right? I'm not all of them, not all of them, but these raised on goose feathers, deaf, dumb, and blind, not exposed to anything uh, imaginative, really, just corporate bullshit, centralized indoctrination, parental. I don't know, whatever it is, exposing them, sitting them down and getting them to watch Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> Hilarious. I'll tell you one thing that I showed my cousins and when they were really young, like um, um, like seven, eight, nine, ten, around there, and my nephew and niece and you young relatives, I showed them, if you've never seen this, 
Shaw Brothers movies coming out of Hong Kong, right, and China, right? So Shaw Brothers movies, I showed them, I believe it's Shaw Brothers. I showed, them, I showed them Shaw Brothers movies, but one of the ones I showed them was Crippled Masters. And they loved it as six-year-old, eight-year-old, seven-year-old, nine-year-old. They loved Crippled Masters. Elder God, you must know this for sure. Crippled Masters is about a guy that doesn't have arms and another guy that doesn't have legs. Uh, and they, they've they been... Uh, <laughs> Meteor 20, 2009, they destroyed the three, three, 3 million asteroid with this <laughs> string. This is crazy. But Crippled Masters, brilliant. It's about a guy without arms and a guy without legs uh, fighting against the evil people. Really good, really good. Uh, MK Zeho, Zeho, MK Zeho. How's it going, Chicho? Dude, I smoked the uh, uh, La Gloria Cubana's oh, nice yeah, cigar tonight under the clear sky, looking out into the stars. Those 20 minutes were some of the most blissful moments in my life. Such a surreal feeling. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, cigar time is amazing time. Right, Cheryl. To be fair, Chicho, we also grew, uh, grew up with Looney Tunes, guaranteed to warm your minds. Indeed, indeed. Uh, yeah, the Crippled Masters, all I got for sure. You would know, John and Chicho. How do you feel about how South Park depicts uh, Canadians? Yeah, that's fine. Hilarious, hilarious. Us Canadians love uh, South Park. A lot of us, anyway. Blame Canada. <laughs> Blame Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Canadians have a lot of a lot of fart jokes, <laughs> so it's for real. A <laughs> lark park, hey, hey, this is lovely on a Saturday evening. What's going on? Salutations, lark park. Hope you're doing well. Salute, salute. Gang, we do have a guild server. You're definitely welcome to join us there. Um, this is a economics live stream, so. I'm guessing we'll be able to load it on sensor too. Um, if this is less than an hour and a half or two hours, gang, uh, those of you watching on sensor two, full link in the description of the video, uh, in the description of the video to Bitchute Rumble and Odyssey. Okay, and we're live streaming on Rumble and on Twitch. So if you want to watch these uh, live streams, we're live streaming on Rumble and Twitch uh, in their entirety. So you're definitely welcome to join us for these live streams. So oh, I gotta bring up the Oh no, I gotta. Da, da, da. Okay, that's fine. And da, 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 da. Uh, I am recording this on a lapel mic, but I just checked my battery and I don't know if it'll last throughout the whole thing. So, those of you that might be watch, listening to this as a podcast on SoundCloud or whatever podcasting platform that you're, uh, you're using, I'm gonna get back into uploading content to SoundCloud and um i'll try to fine tune it and uh, see where it goes apologies if this one is going to be possibly cut short if the battery runs out okay i'll do better next time i'll do better next time and gang we're on twitter for now until they <laughs> they implement the world economic forum agenda we're on mines we're on getter we're on gab we're on vk we're on substack notes you're definitely welcome to join us on all these platforms and more to come okay and for those of you that are supporting this work including the mods that we have that do what needs to be done for us to do what it is that we are doing gang salute i'm gonna take these guys down boing boing hey what's going oh i unlocked them instead of turning them off doink 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 Doink, 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 and doink. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Mix, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. When I was very young, I actually thought the top half of Canadians. It's <laughs> disconnected while talking purely down to South Park. My mother still laughs at me about it today. Hilarious, hilarious. There's a joke going around 
Canadian joke or a joke that's been around for a long time because I I used to travel to the U.S. a lot, and you go to California, and people in California, Nevada, Florida, like everywhere in the United States, south of you know the border, they all go, "Oh, Canada must be really cold, right?" And the joke was because we <laughs> we we do everything in the metric system, and the United States is the imperial system, so we do Celsius, right, in Canada, and in the United States is Fahrenheit. When people look at the map in the United States, they see the temperatures, weather map. They see the temperatures in the United States in Fahrenheit. And then when they cross the border into Canada, it goes into Celsius, but they don't know it's Celsius. So they think it really gets cold really fast as soon as you cross the border. asteroid 2009 i think I, I think that's the one of the ones i uploaded uh holy god tian can the can that's the asteroid movie tian can do the q no that's not the asteroid movie is it what a late night stream right on right on baseman nice 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 large part and go figure i'm having some canada dry too nice nice Cheers, cheers. Eden, salutations. Haven't seen you forever. Salute, salute. And gang, do not forget. Do not forget. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Jun Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available online. Salute to Julian Gay. Angela and Chicho, I don't even know what to do anymore at this point. Everyone that I talk to about the WEF and the agenda says nothing and that I'm crazy. But I saw one of those uh, puppets talking about a microchip that they're working on that can track your uh, carbon footprint. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely one. That's why they want to introduce the digital currency and whatnot, right? And digital currency is going to completely annihilate the economy, by the way. Again, just in case people haven't figured it out, digital currency, central bank digital currencies, centrally controlled digital currencies will, where they eliminate cash, all right? And they track how much toilet paper you buy, right? How many time, how many sheets of toilet paper you're using to wipe your ass, right? That is literally going to annihilate the core economy right just destroy it be prepared if they try to roll it out right as for people who are writing off what's going on in the world well you know uh, i think they're in denial right many people i think many people are in denial of what's really taking place they're concerned they're uh, they're going to a grocery store and they can't buy as much. Some things aren't available. Uh, their work is messed up. Uh, people are having glitches, right? Terrence and Flip effect. Yes, of course. Tell us of Terrence and Flip. Oh, Cripple Masters. Cripple Masters in uh, Mandarin is, where is it again? Oh, there it is. Tian can de Q. Tian de Q. That sounds French. Eden, yeah, Chicho, I started working six months ago. Life has been busy, but I'm enjoy enjoying the ride. Awesome, awesome. Salute to the ride, gang. I hope you are enjoying the ride as well. Cheryl, I have some of the bottle of un unoaked uh, Chardonnay. So I'm giggly and will just <laughs> shush for economics. Shush for economics. Well, sometimes you make your best bets uh, in terms of uh, investing when you're a little tipsy, right? But just a little. Mixio, mixo, 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 ho, ho. What do you think about uh, Vivek? Uh, 
Vivek Rama Sawai Sawai. I saw he recently came out saying he uh, would instantly pardon Assange, and everything he says is what I want to hear. But it feels like I'm being uh, sold snake oil. Haven't had a minute to really look into him. Yeah, it seems a little uh, orchestrated. He seems a little orchestrated, tell you the truth, right? Uh, he's the he's the second contender next to like Trump is way ahead, and then he's like, you know, over here, like blows away the other ones. I think he's Republican, isn't he? <laughs> no, no, he's Democrat, isn't he? Democrat? He's Democrat. Anyway, he's, you know, if everything everything he says is he's gonna do, yeah, but I don't trust him. I don't I don't trust him, right? Uh, I don't I don't where did it come from what's he saying why is he getting so much playtime uh, what you know there's some kind of agenda there right there's some kind of agenda there so I don't know uh, personally if I could vote I wouldn't be voting for him there's only two people on my voting list Kurt Toronto, Toronto, so that's like Toronto. Salutations, thank you for the follow. There's two people I'd be willing to vote for if I was an American citizen in the United States. One would be RFK Jr. and the other one's Trump. That's it. Those are the only two. I mean, Dennis Kucinich is is a huge plus for RFK Jr. Right? Because I like Dennis Kucinich. He's like. Dennis Kucinich was legit, hundred percent legit. Same as Ron Paul, right? But to me, in two thousand and what was it, eight, my ideal combo would have been Dennis Kucinich and Ron Paul running on one ticket. That would have been wow. Just imagine where the United States would be right now if Dennis Kucinich and Ron Paul ran together on one, right? Economically, it'd be prosperous so prosperous aside from everything else right Jalen, that's exactly what it is i thought the same thing and then i did some research and yeah he's a flip-flop motherfucker he's just saying all the stuff we want to hear uh he's just another puppet i think so too i think so too cheryl arc i want to like him so much but he keeps talking out of both sides of his mouth i know you didn't ask me cheryl saying uh, but i think he needs some experience as a rep or senator before running for press yeah yeah i think i think there's huge red flags going up uh with him tap four v2 I get the vibes of a grifter. Yeah, sadly, he got rich off of pump and dump schemes. Red flag, red flag. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure where he got his money or anything. It's just he just he would came off as a fucking huge red flag to me, right? Cheryl, he's a Trump uh, uh, psychophant, psychophant. I don't know what that word is. He's obviously intelligent, so he just needs to find his own path. MKZ ho <laughs> the only person I've ever felt is genius is uh, Ron Paul that genuine is Ron Paul yeah Ron Paul is 100% genuine so is Dennis Kucinich Dennis Kucinich is 100% legit look into what he had to do when he was a mayor I forget which city he was a mayor of Philadelphia maybe or something like this uh, or the I think he was the mayor Dennis Kucinich 100% genuine as well as far as uh, I know, okay, Jenin, I heard RFK talking about how he likes Hillary Clinton and so on. So, uh, haven't done any research. I just remember hearing him say that. Yeah, I think, uh, for example, people talking. Oh, we're talking going into politics. We're going to be doing economics. I mean, this is related to politics and economics go together, right? Uh, but. I think Cleveland. Okay, thank you very much, Shapao. He was a mayor of Cleveland, and 
I've watched interviews with him talking about and a documentary I believe I watched as well I'm pretty sure uh, a while ago where he talked about just corruption in politics basically if you've ever watched The Wire the TV show The Wire right what Dennis Kucinich was talking about when he the things he had to deal with when he was mayor was exact was perfectly portrayed in The Wire the TV series I think it ran for four seasons or was it five I think four seasons right like he was talking about the wire so that's the economics of the United States right now on a city level all the way to the top and it gets more corrupt and more corrupt as as you become more and more centralized right Cheryl I like I like Kucinich. I don't agree with all of his stuff but he's willing to work with everyone indeed and that's the reason I like Kucinich and I like Ron Paul. I don't agree with everything Kucinich has to say or Ron Paul has to say, but they are genuine and they mean the best for American citizens, for citizens of the United States of America. And they can't be bought and paid. They're, they're not bought and paid for, and they cannot be bought. They, they, they prove that. They cannot be bought, right? As opposed to Bernie Sanders, bought a thousand times over right AOC bought a thousand times over most of the Republican side bought a thousand times over all of the Democratic side bought a thousand times over maybe RFK is different and that's a huge plus because Kucinich is with them right elder God parasite parasite psycho fat toady leech ah sponge Thank you very much for the follow, Sudden uh, Apollo. Sudden Apollo. Salute. Mean a usually a a psychiatrist flatterer or self seeker. Okay. So parasite and leech. Grifter. Grifter would fit it, right? Chicho Chu TV <laughs> salutations. Chicho Chu TV. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> what? Elder God, I'm a big fan of that uh, that word since hearing it in Batman Begins. Really, I don't remember hearing it. Psychophant. 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 Toady leech sponge parasite means and on means a usually and usually obsequious flatterer self-seeker sycophant sycophant oh is that how you pronounce it sycophant sycophant psychophant i like wise i like pronounce wise as uh, wise sycophant sycophant cool cool thanks cheryl gangsta 12 salute salutes First time chat. Welcome to our live stream. Uh, why do people talk about politics? It's super stressful, and no matter what there, what there aren't any that are in the right, and nothing will ever change. I disagree with nothing will ever change. History has shown that almost everything can change. Okay. As far as why do people talk about politics? Because politics rules our world right now, right? Uh, Gangsta 12, here. We're talking about, this stream is about investing in personal finance, right? So let's assume you have a phenomenal idea, right? And you want to open up a business. One of the first things you're going to have to deal with, the first thing you're going to have to deal with is the politics of the region you live in, right? So for example, and in the west coast of Canada, in British Columbia, I don't know if this is the same in the rest of Canada or not, because health is provincial in Canada. But in British Columbia, right, let's say you live in British Columbia, you have a fantastic idea. You want to open up a hookah pipe with sweets, selling baklava and nazuk. Ooh, delicious, right? You want to open up a hookah pipe, like a Middle Eastern hookah pipe, having amazing sitar playing right beautiful uh was a era sat oh i forget the uh, player's name right this amazing music 
from the Middle East coming. You want to build an atmosphere, right? You want to sell Middle Eastern sweets. Well, politics says you can't do that. Sorry. <laughs> That's why. Right now, politics is governing every aspect of our lives, including, okay, in a big way, investing, personal finance, economics. My, our finances. That's why we talk politics. That's why we talk politics. Those who don't understand politics, who don't follow politics, most of the people who function on that level live paycheck to paycheck and they will be dependent on the state uh, to take care of them if the state is still there right most people who don't understand politics do not in general become uh, financially independent because politics bites them in the ass at some point okay Jalan, boss man what do you think about the economy i know you're from canada and all uh, but all but do you think the u.s will be okay in four years is there any recovery there is recovery but it's not going to be for at least another decade okay the western world is on a downturn on a multi-year downturn there is not going to be any uptick the wave oh, i didn't bring any pen did I bring oh, I did bring a pen. Basically, I can't show this. I'm gonna hide this part. <laughs> so basically, think about it this way. Right? I should have brought a pad too. What's this? I need a little pad here. Let's do this one. Take this one, put it here. Right? You can think about it this way. Okay, well, right here. Here's time. Usually you put time on the x-axis, right? Time. Let's assume we're on a we're on a uptick cycle like this. We're on a multi-year downtick cycle like this. But everything doesn't work like this, right? There's waves within waves. Right? So we're in a cycle like this right now just based on the stock market i'm guessing we're here right the odds are we're going to come down again maybe go up again will we go past the last peak possibly i don't think so and then down again so we're on a multi-year cycle downturn certain things will do phenomenal in during the great depression those that sold alcohol made mint money lots of money right they became extremely powerful so it really depends on which market you're in okay but in general what this multi-year down cycle means is that poverty is going to increase the wealth gap is going to increase there will be rise in crime okay there will be shortages and there will be turmoil instability right that's my prediction okay nicholas salutations hope you're doing well what are you doing up so early <laughs> salute gangsta 12 okay i'm listening cool elder god coding uh, quote to all of you ah all you phonies all of you two-faced friends you sycophants sycophants is not how you pronounced it sycophant sycophant fanat sycophanatic suck up who smile through your teeth at me please leave me in peace please go stop smiling it's not a joke Ah, that's the Joker saying that, yeah? Was it Joker saying that? But Joker wasn't in that one, was it? I have used this quote in a meeting once. Wow, nice, nice, nice. Availability, salutations, hope you're doing well. Politics will eventually catch up with everyone. They can think that, think. <laughs> the kitty cats want outside. 
<laughs> They're not the door. They were sleeping, so I didn't open up the door for them. I might have to get up and open up the door for them. But let me read this. Availability. Politics will eventually catch up with everyone. They can think that it has nothing to do with themselves, but that's ultimately living in ignorance. It affects everyone. Real world politics doesn't need to be in every facet of life, like video games or books, unless that's uh, pertaining to the story or lore. Politics has a place in it doesn't need to be everywhere, but it is in reality, reality, not fiction. 100 percent. 100 percent. Elder God. Bruce Wayne actually said that. Wow, wow, wow. OK, gang, let me get up and go. Let the kitty cats out. I should have opened the door. They were so sound asleep and I'm recording this. So I'm going to be on the lapel mic. Hopefully it won't be too noisy. Look at Via, he wants that. We've had a raccoon come up to the patio. Uh, I had to rebuild the catio uh, yesterday. I had to rebuild it, and it rebuilt it really nice. Uh, but the raccoon destroyed it, the little bugger. I'll be right back, gang, okay? Come on, come on, follow you out. See, Sal is nicely sleeping again. He's laying down. He's not so pushy. Come on. Like open the door, open the door. I want out. Okay, let me put myself back in here and lock myself in. Put this guy back. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't too noisy for uh, people listening to this on the podcast. Nicholas Chicho was just about to go to bed and saw your notification. I thought I would pop, pop on before I slept. Awesome, awesome. Well, I hope if you, you know, doze off, I hope you have amazing dreams. And what are you doing coming home so late? <laughs> Cats Financial Services. Ha 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 ha. 3 a.m. partying. All we got to Nicholas. Hilarious. Yeah, kitty cats. By the way, kitty cats are expensive, gang. <laughs> okay, so don't get any pets. Pets are expensive and they require attention, right? So don't get any, get any pets if you're not responsible enough and don't have the finances to take care of kitty cats or dogs or whatever pets you have, right? Cheryl, I made dinner using our Dutch oven uh, over coals. Nice. My cat was glued to the window uh, watching. Nice, nice. Yeah, kitty cats can sit there and just zone out on things forever. Sal and Via sometimes in the kitchen to just sit there and watch me cook, just do things for the longest time. It's super cool. Dark Raptor 16. Salutations. Thank you for the follow. Nicholas, just a night owl, eh? Yeah. I would I was like that for a long time and I can still be but then I get up so early now it's crazy for a long time for a long time Jalen as someone that owns two German shepherds yeah don't <laughs> yeah I like German shepherds man they're really loyal gang I got some salad here our own tomatoes from the garden right I ate, I had some of the salad earlier today our own tomatoes from the garden um, one of the carrots uh, not carrots cucumbers uh, was from a CSA one of them was from our garden and the pickles you see there are our own pickles that we made 
the cucumbers weren't our, our own cucumbers, but very delicious pickles. And tomatoes. Very good. The ver the Verich on Rumble. Salutations. Glad you are streaming over here now. Yeah, me too. Salutations to the Rumble people. <laughs> Hostile Hedgy. Salutations on Rumble. Very good. Very good. So good. So good. Uh, again, aside, uh, you know, how politics is related to economics and stuff like this, uh, just, just a little note. Um, government's centralized power is going to try to acquire more power in the coming more than they have right now right in the coming weeks months to years right they're increasing the cost of life living right because they need to continue to choke society to choke humanity to keep their power right they've created a bubble economy and they don't know how to get out of it right some people say this was planned to a certain degree it was planned what they were doing but they didn't think it was going to work out the way it is which is complete collapse of many things and people getting extremely pissed at them okay so bunker down a little bit be prepared for what is to come okay there might be certain amount of turmoil and the rule that we set in place a few months a few not a few months ago a few years ago when we were started first started live streaming and when i started making personal finance economics videos uh we mentioned this a few years ago uh don't get into major debt okay if you can help it if you need to get into major debt make sure that uh any debt that you're gonna get into or you might get into can be written off if you declare bankruptcy okay and if the government is going to pass laws like they did with the in the united states with the 2005 bankruptcy bill where they prevented uh people from declaring bankruptcy if they had certain types of debt right because they were preparing for what was coming in 2008 right 2007 2008 they looked at the numbers they knew that the bubble was going to burst it was going to be a major financial downturn so they passed the laws to protect their donor class right wall street uh, so to lock people in into their debt indefinitely so if you see the government passing laws uh changing the board game changing the rules right where if you're in debt that debt is can't be written off if you declare bankruptcy make sure you do what you need to do to get out of that debt before that law kicks in okay well that's you know keep in mind this is not financial advice but that's what we saw in uh, 2005 to 2007 you saw bankruptcies kick up because people figured out oh shit right uh it's going to be a shit storm coming so they wrote off those debts they go oh bankrupt i'm bankrupt get lost get lost or when you start the paperwork on a bankruptcy then you're the people you owe money to they'll contact you and say okay you know write it off 50 cents on a dollar or 20 cents on the dollar right so you can negotiate a certain amount of debt that you have let's say you owe hundred thousand dollars you could probably knock that down pay them off 30 grand and have that debt written off without having go having to go through bankruptcy right declaring it right so there's multiple ways around what it, what is about to come okay 
Eduardo, we here have three cats, two dogs, uh, three cats, four dogs, and three cats that are not from the house but eat at the front. Wow, wow. But in, you're in Brazil, so you, you feed them leftovers. Um, in Canada, we're buying kitty cat food and expensive kitty cat food, right? And with dogs, we, we had a dog in Iran when, when I was a kid. You didn't buy dog food you gave the dog table scraps like whoever didn't you know whatever you didn't eat even if it was steak right or rice greens you put it in a bowl and you gave it to the dog and the dog ate the dog ate human food i know people say that's not good but our dog was pretty happy right? elder god been up so long today i may need a stack a breakfast morning or late night evening this is all planned from COVID 2020 to agenda 2030 it's just the beginning in my opinion i agree now the god i think this is just the beginning of what is to come economically economic turmoil that we're facing right st lord of Firon, lord of iron lord of iron a steel a steel lord of iron a steel lord of iron hey everyone hope all is well indeed i haven't seen your name for a while so i forgot how to pronounce it salute welcome back eduardo actually we feed them straight prime stuff laugh out loud it's uh expensive my mom is even thinking about starting a natural food business for pets nice that'll do really well in canada what like i've been wrong on a few different things i you know i've seen something and went man that's not gonna last right and it lasted not not only it lasted it went ooh, into the mainstream prosperous right one of the things i was wrong on was madonna first time i saw her on tv i was a headbanger in the 80s i saw her doing like a virgin crawling down the steps and stuff i was like what the fuck is this this is just 15 minutes of fame of some some new girl they brought out to push right gee i was wrong on that deal right another thing i was wrong on i saw years ago like 15 years ago i saw a little doggy store like dog dog uh collars dog accessories like dog stuff like a little store open up in an expensive part of vancouver I forget what it was what it was called and we knew the people through second hand through friends friends it was a girl that was dating a very rich guy and she wanted to open up the store so the guy fronted the money so we just thought the guy's burning it right burning the money he's got a you know whatever what do they call her uh treasure trophy wife or trophy girlfriend or something like this but that store is still around today and it franchised into multiple stores and it's like little stores that have accessories for pets right so if you know your business uh don't be afraid to invest in it but just make sure you do your research and if you don't know anything about a business about a certain type of marketing don't dismiss it the way i personally did and i have done on different things okay uh basically number one rule of investing is go with what you know and if you don't know it and if you're interested in it make sure you do a shit ton of research before you put money behind it okay dark raptor 16 first time chat salutations hope you're doing well people seem to forget the dog's opinion on the matter on whether or not they should eat human food <laughs> dogs will eat anything dogs eat poop all right lord of iron i'm going to israel at the end of october on a pilgrimage for two weeks nervous but excited Oof, hope it goes well it's a crazy place to go to right now right interesting times interesting times i hope you enjoy yourself though uh, it's supposed to be beautiful amazing right but serious problems serious problems and it really depends where you're going 
I hope you do go and visit the West Bank or the Gaza Strip. Okay. It is part of uh, the history of what's there, right? And it has a lot of economics and politics associated with it. Big time, big time, big time, big time. My battery on my recorder is holding out okay, so that's good. That's good. Fun. Fun stuff. It's, uh, it's interesting, gang. It really is what's going on in the world. Uh, and I hope uh, you guys are uh, are prepared for it, are enjoying the ride. Just make sure you don't, again, I'll say it again, don't go into major debt in the foreseeable future. Right. So, for example, in Canada, I mentioned this before. I forget. I think in the last stream I mentioned this, but I'll mention it again because this is personal finance um, investing related. In Canada, I know I know now know people and I just heard another story being told as well. That those people that got fixed mortgages when they bought homes, right? They thought that they had locked everything in. But according to the banks, they haven't locked it in. Because interest rates have gone up so high, if the monthly payments are not covering the interest on your debt, then what the banks are doing is tagging on the extra payment that should be there to the original debt, right? So their debt is increasing, even though they're making monthly payments, crazy. Thank you very much for the follow, Howl. I think that was the name. Salute. 990, I hope you're doing well. Uh, Lord of Iron, we discussed visiting the Gaza Strip and West Bank, and depending on how much conflict there is, we'll try and visit the area. Awesome. Should be, If I went to Israel, those two places I would 100% go to, right? As well as Jerusalem, of course, right? Uh, the Armenian part. Uh, Jerusalem's broken up to four qu four quarters, right? There's the Muslim uh, quarter, the uh, Jewish quarter. It should only be a quarter, but it's expanding. Uh, the Christian quarter and the Armenian quarter, Armenian Christian quarter, because uh, we're special. They give us our own little quarter because we're the first Christian nation. Right, uh, Alaga. I've increased my options overseas in non Western countries. Yeah, Alaga, that's a good thing to do, right? Really, that's a good thing to do. There might be an iron curtain going up in the Western countries, and basically, what they did with the USSR prevent traveling from countries that are enclosed with the USSR under USSR regime, they prevented people from traveling. To other nations they might do that to western nations as well interesting times 990 are bell peppers supposed to turn black before their intended ripened color i don't think so i think they go green yellow red i think that was the order isn't it i didn't realize they go black pawn if pawn was here go to our gilded server ask pawn uh, 990 in the food section or gardening section cheryl would know cheryl would know if not ask the question on our guild server and uh, someone will be able to answer you i've never grown bell peppers so i don't know i don't know how to be honest i followed within the first five seconds i joined the stream you have a very relaxed and engaging demeanor awesome thank you very much salute and welcome to our live stream Hello God, Armenian get a quarter of Jerusalem. New data absor <laughs> absorbed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's broken into four quarters, right? It suppose it's supposed to be quarters. We'll see where how all that plays out in the coming years. We'll see how all that plays out. Uh interesting times. Interesting times. Um there was something else I was gonna mention regarding uh, uh yeah, just regarding the going into debt, mortgage, and stuff like this. People that have done their calculations in Canada, anyway, of how much expenses they have uh, per month, 
like a year ago they're seeing those expenses kick up big time in regards to energy costs that they have to pay food they have to buy mortgage payments if they didn't lock it in uh, like wow 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 energy costs like in terms of gas and insurance and insurance costs going up and whatnot so in canada gang just to let you know in canada financially deep shit deep trouble many canadians are in financial turmoil right now they're barely making ends meet really they're barely making ends meet the kitty cat you're hearing now is sal he's like i want i want dental food i want liver where's my food i should have give, given him food he came down and laid down again hopefully he can he can wait like a half an hour otherwise he's going to create chaos i might have to get up again uh, cheryl's going bla bell peppers black before no they don't go black before i didn't think so either is it black in the bottom cheryl's asking 990 i'm gonna let the pepper turning black be my experimental pepper and watch its complete cycle yeah 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 sure why not there might be black peppers out there i don't know jalan i concur dude you have an asmr voice but you're engaging enough for me not to fall asleep my favorite is when you start uh, dissing centralization <laughs> my favorite topic <laughs> the eddie g salutations hope you're doing well whoa late night for chicho stream always a pleasure brother hope you and yours are well indeed you as well as you oh, fun cheryl that's always a good learning experience indeed especially with plants with plants it's amazing just not knowing what's going on i got some ice here i'm just gonna pour myself more ice in the drink because the ice i had is already melted it's hot i'm gonna drink this too <sighs> ice water eddie g thank you very much for the sub tier one sub subscribe for two months salute salute i'm gonna pour myself a whiskey for that jameson coming up jameson coming up one day we'll do a live stream where for every follow and sub we'll have a drink salute lord of iron tourists are welcomed in, uh, in pretty much all areas and says i've uh, been gone i became a uh, minister and was warned warned that the muslim quarter for christians can be a can be hit and miss but most folk welcome the tourist re uh, revenue looking forward to the conversations with locals yeah 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 i don't think i think you should be okay uh as f if you're a rabbi it might be a different story but a minister a christian i think you should be okay i'm sipping on uh, jameson jameson on the rocks all the gods back on strongbow energy of course brother indeed i've had some vodka and some herbal uh, medicine haha <laughs> i had some herbal uh, medicine earlier today <laughs> 990 i've been uh, keeping a gardening journal since april on all my plants i numbered them and will go over the hasty collected data this winter nice awesome i love data how old? how old exactly i found jalan i am unfortunately not as intellectually sound as i would like but enjoyed listening to those that are i feel he would make an amazing professor uh just so you know how I, I do teach mathematics i'm an educator private okay i don't teach in institutions i couldn't i wouldn't last in institutions and love teaching been doing it for over two decades uh mainly mathematics and physics okay mainly mathematics and physics uh it's brilliant 
and don't sell yourself short when you say you're not in intellectually sound i've you know who, who's who stated this i think john taylor gatto stated this that he had never in all his decades of teaching and he taught for like three four decades he said he'd never met a genius and he never met an idiot all right in terms of intellectually we can't even say the word on twitch now intellectually low iq right there are people who have learning differences and stuff like this but don't sell yourself short a short there is uh, everybody is a genius in some regards or intellectually superior to others on some certain topics right it is what it is chaps no gin and juice i just opened a 40 40 a 40 no 40 ounce no what 40 40 40 40 26 or 40 40 ounce -er? is that what it's called <laughs> cheers y'all cheers lark bark 990 yep been reading up on agriculture and gardening and uh turning it into a self-taught uh, college course on growing awesome yeah i taught myself how to grow food by growing food right and apprenticing is an amazing way to learn something right or just experimenting is an amazing way to learn something that includes investing and managing your personal finances just make sure you don't buy into hype and don't go all into anything okay all into anything the energy 40 is definitely us for 40 ounce bottles yeah that's got to be it uh sure lordy that took me back 30 years the the, the which one the the 40 answer the 40 answer <laughs> no that's that can't be it that can't be it uh there's a couple other things i wanted to mention i should take notes but i don't uh we just go with the flow in general um da, 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 da. something i wanted to mention regarding personal finance investing uh, ah but i forget but i forget oh well we're not in a rush to do anything which is good which is good oh my god i have a registered iq of 179 but by itself it's useless passion and commitment are more useful for learning 100 percent. listen to someone with an iq of 179 right passion and commitment is what you want right like when i've worked with people i don't look for someone with a higher iq than someone else right if like i've managed people doing geophysics and i've worked people with people uh through different projects multiple different projects personal uh, through different corporations and stuff like this right i've never looked for someone that's really intelligent to work with right you want to work with people start businesses with people who have a passion and they're committed that's it right and they have the skills you need but you don't need them to be super intellectual to do a certain 99.9999999999 percent of the projects that you need to work on right that's what it is right there's a lot of super intelligent people with high high iqs that are homeless because they're useless right they don't they don't have passion they don't have commitment they don't have the ability to work with anyone else right collaboration goes a long way your ability to collaborate with people and listen and get things done a doer right Cheryl yes had a friend that always said he was out to grab a 40 40 of OE <laughs> for most of our friends it was like he was speaking a foreign language really funny we always said 26er oh my god an individual with a high iq and no passion is a cheap computer ha 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 funny 990 never let your genius get in the way of your basic priorities i've read about a lot of genius 
breaking and uh, sequestering themselves socially often turn into intoxicants uh, because they overwork their minds and burnt out yeah oe equals old english i was trying to think what it was old english and 990 100 percent i've had a lot of students that have taught in high school and saw them into grade 12 and graduating that were getting like 98 percent in high school average on everything they go to university they fail out first term boom done they're they're shattered because they didn't realize high school was just they, they were protected they, they were pampered they weren't really challenged right so uh, i've seen a lot of intelligent people just get annihilated by the world by life right the energy collaboration is everything we are social animals the internet is an oxymoron <laughs> funny lord of iron mickey's malt liquor haha <laughs> mickey's mickey's if you could afford it we always got uh, 26ers but mickey's came in handy mickey's came in handy 990 more simply always be in control of your passions uh, they can become your undoing yeah they can become your addictions and that could be your undoing right oh thank you all so much for that i needed to hear that 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 is some really good advice for sure how yeah 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 and don't let anyone tell you otherwise right i've seen man like it I can tell you just from teaching for over two decades right I've taught people that the system has written off the parents have written off their peers have written off their siblings have written off beer slinger thank you very much for the sub uh, subscribe for 25 months currently on a 25 my streak Woohoo! beer slinger salute right that society has written off written off early one person I, i've mentioned this example before i won't go into the details one person was in grade eight when i started working with them towards the end of grade eight right met with them for a few times and a lot of work needed to be there it was a grade nine maybe it was grade nine right everybody had written off they thought the best he would do is work as a teller somewhere right by the time we're done i worked on four years right he ended up in grade 12 high school he was taking math 12 physics 12 chemistry 12. last time i saw him he thanked me right it was amazing moment really amazing moment right amazing moment and he was in university in engineering program taking engineering civil engineering right everybody had written him off everybody fuck everybody right the only person that can write your you off is you if you don't write yourself off no one else can you're capable of doing anything you want right figure it out figure out what it is you want to do and go at it even if you fail you've improved yourself you acquired skills that you can move on to another project okay don't let ignorance fucking write you off 990 life is understanding uh, the pecking order of those that were great before you came trapping along <laughs> and thinking that you know it all <laughs> 990 says to how we're all family here indeed cheryl i helped a few students with math when i lived in kansas several teachers recruited me uh hard after because i was able to help kids that struggle with everyone everyone uh with ev everyone else they pointed out that sometimes people learn best from those who struggle with a topic because they are able to think of new ways to explain a topic yeah fantastic 
Fantastic. Salute, Cheryl. Awesome. J Powell, I just watched the video you made about working with him. You helped uh, when nobody else could figure it, figure it out, or maybe they didn't care to. I, I just, I was able to relate to him, he, or he related to me. I was harsh with him at times, right? I made him cry sometimes, right? But he understood where I was coming from. I explained myself to him, right? I explained myself to him. I told him why I'm doing this, right? Um, and, and he rose to the occasion, 100% on him. He rose to the occasion. Amazing kid, right? How, my God, this is the best stream I've ever been in. Thank you again. Thank you. That's good to hear. Awesome. Salute. Pickle. I'm going to munch on a pickle. Nice sound. You want snacks, don't you? He wants cuddles too. Uh, Cheryl, to this day when I need help, I look for those for whom a topic didn't make has come easy. It's work each time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 990. Look at the space programs. Collecting data on every single rocket that exploded mid-flight allowed the very possibility of safer manned flight. Jalen to Al. I feel the same way sometimes, although, man, don't worry. We're all smarter than we think we are. I thought I was dumb for dropping out of high school with half a credit. And no, I'm on my way to making 100K a year. Indeed. Easy peasy. All right. 900. How? Yep. Chicho is the man. <laughs> I don't know. He deserves his own theme song. Like... <laughs> Sanford is all Sanford and Son is awesome. <laughs> awesome. It was the blind guy uh, that did the soundtrack for Sanford and Son. Uh, Chico and the Man, isn't it? Chico and the Man. Oh man, I haven't heard that forever. How? But that's great to hear you enjoy what you do. Also, it's funny that you said you teach math and physics because those are two subjects I've wanted to start studying. I have a middle school level knowledge of both math and science. So it's a bit lofty if a goal, lofty of a goal, uh, but the subject fascinates me. How I have a few hundred videos online. I started math, making math videos over how many years ago now? 15, 16 years ago. And they're online. You can definitely, you know, take a look. Uh, you can go to our SensorTube channel. That's YouTube. But we don't upload everything there. And I have math playlists. Boop. There. There's a language of mathematics playlist. And I start off with the most basic stuff going through it. And I jump around a little bit after a while. And then there's math and life playlist. There's how to study playlist. There's trigonometry playlist. There's ASMR uh, math playlist. Uh, and there's some specific playlists like mathematics of food and farming, mathematics of art and design and whatnot. Okay. And if you have any questions, let me know. Oh God, I can testify to that. I was suspended from school at age five for being un ungovernable. They thought I was a problem child, but I was just bored with the curriculum. I've already started reading at grade 10 level. Yeah, yeah, school system, indoctrination system, horrendous, horrendous. Some of the, some of the smartest kid, uh, kids I've ever worked with were the ones that the system had written off because they didn't fit inside their box. Right. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Plutorino, salutations, hope you're doing well. Hey, chat. Hey, Chicho, how are you? Doing good. Salute. First time chat, Tyler the Goat, number one. You're talking about finance within the U.S.? Yeah, yeah, we are. You can definitely uh, we can definitely talk about things if you like. Sal wants snacks. Uh, how auto mod zap something uh, of yours? I'm gonna approve it. Oh look at Sal, he's reaching. Hey, don't go up there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go give him a snack. Uh, been listening to Chicho for ten minutes, and yes, I concur. He is the mf man i for some reason didn't like mf i have no idea what that stood for but it is good i'll make sure to check them out you're welcome how okay I go, i'm gonna go get sal he's gonna knock shit off I'm gonna go. when sal is hungry this is what he does he's like rrr, rrr. Oh, come on give me some snack i'll be right back gang i'll be right back i'm gonna take uh the people that are listening to us on a podcast for a walk again. Come on, Sal. I'll give you a snack. His tummy comes first. <laughs> Come on. Let's give you a snack. Jeez. <laughs> Knocking everything. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's give you guys a snack. See if we can scoot back in here without creating too much chaos. Kitty cats are so funny. They're good company. They're very good company. As long as their tummies are taken care of and they have their space to do their business, they're pretty much uh, independent in a good way. That there make sure audio is still going Oof. oh this battery is not gonna last long on the on the recorder lapel mic on <laughs> song hero the cat trained you yeah they did they did they did I, I consider uh, kitty cats like I consider all living creatures like to be precious like uh, the, it, I consider them to be ho housemates with us right they're sharing a space with us and they have certain needs it, it was our choice to have them come and live with us that means we have to make sure that they have as pleasant a life as possible I don't know if it's training. I think it's just talking. Like, if you have roommates, human roommates, they'll come and talk to you, right? 
kitty cats don't have that type of language ability so it's their behavior the way they act is the the way they're communicating so when sal comes along and goes meow <laughs> that's like him saying hey chicho i'm hungry can you please give me some food <laughs> right it's not that i know people have said this before they've trained you no they're communicating with me i've i've taught them that when they're hungry they shouldn't go to the drawer where the snacks are to go scratch it they shouldn't run around knock things over they should come over to me and go meow <laughs> right <laughs> like okay come on let's go feed you sometimes they're meow i can tell the difference they want pets right or they want with via when, he, when he's like meow meow he wants out <laughs> right that's the way of communicating right podcast private get chat plutrino doing well i start my new job on wednesday salute to new jobs salute to new jobs excited moving industries so it'll be fun nice nice Jella. not only that but they put in work they keep uh, rodents and pests away indeed they hunt you know flies every now and then flies in here sometimes they hunt wasps <laughs> not a good idea on their part i think they might have learned their lessons they've been stung a couple of times right and they keep rodents away indeed Right, Cheryl, mine doesn't meow. He just walks <laughs> underfoot. Oh, jeez, <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Sal doesn't meow very much. Only when he's hungry or if he wants a little bit of pets. Unsung hero, certainly. I was just messing with you. Oh, for sure, unsung hero. I don't take it. Uh, uh, it doesn't offend me or anything like that. For sure, for sure, for sure. It's it's a relationship right every relationship uh, needs uh, attention every new relationship needs attention uh, John I always wanted a cat but I would die laugh a lot maybe a, a bald cat oh you got the uh, allergy the hair yeah and you know what those bald cats I thought they were ugly because I only seen pictures I'd never seen one in person before but last month I went to a house and they have five of them Right. just imagine a house that has five of those bad cats uh but not bad cats bald cats and they were super cute i i couldn't believe it and that's one of the cases that i mentioned that don't uh be judgmental on things don't write things off because you might be proven wrong i thought they were the ugliest thing like i've seen pictures of them online i thought they were the ugliest thing there ever was right and Cheryl says their skin must be so soft. You know what? I didn't pet them for some stupid reason. I don't know why. It just, they're so cute. They, and they were really loving. They came by. They were really friendly. I just didn't pet them for some reason. I don't know why. I will next time I see them, right? I was hesitant. I was shocked, right? But they were the cutest thing, man. It was crazy. And no hair. Right on. But you have to oil them. I'm not cool with that. You have to oil them otherwise they get dandruff and they're not good in the sun or something like this i don't know yeah yeah sal and via are almost three years old now wow wow yeah almost three years old i expect a full assessment next time <laughs> for sure i do next time I'll but their, their designs were all different right all of them were bald but they all had different designs on them like patches dark and brown it was incredible it was really cool all the pictures i've seen they're all gray but these ones had different patches they were like different colors it was interesting really interesting and <laughs> they look like bass sacks so they look like peanut sacks so wait i'm gonna oil no way I'm gonna wild them. <laughs> is that a peanut? <laughs> I don't know what that is. It doesn't tell me. 
<laughs> Hilarious. Oh, gonna gonna head to bed. Apologies for uh, blowing up chat, but this was in, uh, sincerely the best stream I've been been in. <clears throat> Hoping to catch the next one. Have a good one. Thank you again for the advice. My pleasure. Thank you for popping in and thank you for the kind words. has something jump in my throat <coughs> i hope that wasn't loud <coughs> oh <laughs> that's not sex <laughs> i'm gonna allow that jala dang i got to do it now i know chicho i meant nuts <laughs> I'm like peanuts, not sex. Just not trying to get bad. <laughs> I, was, I don't know. Not sex. You know, they usually have hair on them. These don't have hair. <laughs> so, hilarious. You guys are making me crack up hard. Interesting personal finance stream. Interesting personal finance stream. Pickle. Really like pickle and tomatoes. Elder God, it's four twenty-five a.m. here, and I'm drinking and being merry. Thank God it's Sunday. <laughs> Hilarious. Love it. Salute to Sunday in the UK. Saturday night is personal finance friendly. The banks are closed. <laughs> it's not personal finance friendly. The banks are closed. Funny. Weekends are a good time to make um, business decisions, right? Because you're not getting a stream of financial news coming your way. So you can clear the head a little bit. Jalen, don't forget about Julian Assange, boss man. Indeed, 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 Garen. Yeah. Do not forget, do not forget. Thank you, John. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies. Are your finances being annihilated? Right? Is your business being shut down? Do you know why everything's happening? Right? According to Julian Assange's philosophy, we need transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. The powerful are doing this to us. We need to know why. Gang, for more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available online. Do your research. Find out what's going on. Be free. right indeed 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 it's incredible i had someone on sensor tube uh, mentioned that uh regarding julian assange and they're like oh dude he did this he did this what if julian assange was this was this it was just low iq shit the guy was spewing right and the person actually mentioned daniel El ellsberg Daniel Ellsberg was different than Julian Assange. Meanwhile, this idiot, moron, low IQ propaganda is up the yin yang person, is quoting Del Daniel Ellsberg saying Daniel Ellsberg case was different than Julian Assange's case. So we shouldn't support Julian Assange because Julian Assange is bad. Right? I replied to him with a couple of paragraphs. And one of the things I said was, Daniel Ellsberg was one of the most staunch supporters of Julian Assange, if not the number one supporter of Julian Assange. So the person he's quoting, trying to dismiss what Julian Assange is, right? Trying to 
pretend. He understands the situation that's happening and understood what Daniel Ellsberg did. Didn't even realize that Daniel Ellsberg supports Julian Assange up to yin yang, right? Supports Julian Assange 100 percent, right? That's how propagandized some people are. Well, it's pathetic to see, actually. It's pathetic to see. All you do with people like that is burn them a new asshole, right? That's it, right? Oh my God! I saw a guy talking about the Western media being controlled by foreign nations. Uh, only independent journalism is safe for information gathering. Indeed, one hundred percent. It's the only. It's the only sources you can really go to, to acquire information. Everything else is compromised. Everything else is compromised. They might feed you. Eighty percent, not even eighty. Western corporate media best. They'll feed you 50% facts, but they'll distort the facts with the other 50% to make you think that fire is not hot, right? It's crazy. Plotino, if I want my foreign journalism, I just read foreign media. <laughs> yeah, indeed. All right? And not controlled media, All right? Independent journalists, we're lucky. We're we're living in one of the most exciting, blessed periods in human history. Really, we're 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 blessed, right? Because right now, if you wanna know what's going on in a certain part of the world, you can do half a day's research and find independent journalists from that area reporting. Right? Do a day of research. If you're really interested, you can find independent journalists from any part of the world that you're interested in and see what they're covering. Okay? People are just lazy that don't know. Unsung hero. Didn't the big uh, search ends? Search ends say recently they're going to censor independent media? Sure, they're going to try to. Yeah. They're going to try to. Which is really, by the way, which is extremely important right because they realize that the floodgates have opened that many people don't believe the bullshit that they're peddling and they don't you gotta you gotta be low iq to believe that shit right many people don't believe centralized propaganda so they're trying to tighten their news and trying to make sure that not more people are going to find their way to independent media and find out that centralized power is just full of bullshit, right? So they're trying to prevent more people from finding independent sources of news, right? Is it going to work? Maybe. Here's the kicker. If you've been consuming your news outside of the social media platforms, right? You've been seeking out independent news sources and have been educating and educating yourself over the last few years, then what you know right is happening to the world is way different than those people who have just consumed corporate propaganda centralized corporate propaganda right that includes people who only get their news from facebook only get their news from google searches or twitter or instagram or whatever right you need to find independent sources and consume that information and put yourself through rapid education because things are changing on many fronts and investing in personal finance is one of them if you've even done a f like a smidgen of research into what it takes to invest you would have realized by now that there's so much going on right now that if you're not educated at what the game is, you're going to get burned. You're going to get burned hard, right? We, had, we have friends that have bought homes in apartments, homes, land, whatever. In the last four years, that for 
last few years i've been telling people don't go into debt don't go into debt interest rates are going to go up interest rates are going to but some of these people that we know took the advice of the bankers and didn't lock in their mortgages they they got mortgages floating mortgages i asked one of them i go why'd you do that for you've talked to me i've told you interest rates are going up don't go into debt and if you're going to go into that lock it in and she told me that the the bank financial advisor told him oh get it floating because interest rates are so low fuck those people are pretty much screwed right now okay because it's not just mortgage rates have gone up everything's gone up right and it's you have to think about it in terms of it's not that the prices have gone up is that the money is not worth as much right they devalue your currency which is the reason that they're kicking up interest rates right it's twofold one of it is they're trying to protect their currencies right a country if the currency becomes unstable that country is fucking gone down the toilet those people in power will no longer be in power and there's going to be huge turmoil and some heads might roll right so what they're trying to do right now western countries in many countries are increasing interest rates to protect their currencies they can't have their currency go into hyperinflation they, they can't do it devalue completely right because if they do they're not turkey they're not erdogan right it's not it's not a total scam in many countries right people will demand someone's head on a platter right or multiple people's heads on a platter so one of the reasons they're doing this is because they're going to protect the currency the other reason the reason they're doing this is because they know they know the numbers we know the numbers a shitload of people are in debt so they're reducing the middle class right because they can't have as many people in the system as wealthy as they are they need to reduce that right as the world economic forum psychopath says you will own nothing right you will own nothing and they will be happy okay john i was talking to a co-worker today and he was in the military and he was telling me about how he once had to transport someone really important and that he had millions of dollars in duffel bags and that they gave it to the taliban for information and i was shocked like how do they know if it's good uh, good info or not that's taxpayer money crazy yeah yeah they did this a lot they fucking pallets of cash they sent they've sent to iraq they've sent to afghanistan they've even sent pal plane loads of cash to iran <laughs> in afghanistan this is what centralized power did they said if you can if you can tell us where the taliban are we'll give you money just fucking imagine you go to a village you announce tell us where the taliban at taliban is at right anybody that's collaborating with the taliban and will give you money if you're in a small village any community there's a little bit of conflict between certain people in the community so some of those people turn around and said hey come here that's a taliban there the people weren't taliban they're just ratting them out they get money and they get rid of an enemy in the village just fucking imagine and now you know why mali niger told france to go leave their countries right why china and russia are gaining so much power globally why western countries are seeing major economic downturn right people are tired of this shit yeah elder god a google search gets you exactly what they want you to see yeah in the past when you did a google search you would get like it says oh this many this many hits right do a search for anything you got twenty thousand 
100 million hits right but if you go page keep on flipping through the pages the pages die off after seven or eight pages six seven or eight if you're lucky after six or seven pages there's no more search you're at the end of the search in the past you could have kept on going page after page of your search word sometimes you went down 20 pages you're trying to find alternate perspectives google is garbage if you're using google for your searches for information especially related to politics economics social whatever it is right uh, might as well go to facebook to get your fucking news like really that means it's totally censored you're going to be as as educated as as informed as what my kitty cats regarding geopolitics they don't know shit you're not gonna know shit okay it just is what it is right john and chicho every time within the past year or so everyone i get money from every every time i get money from the bank withdrawal i always always get new bills and a lot of the people are always like awesome hell yeah like they're oblivious to what that actually means they're, oops printing printing it is what it is right unsung hero to all god yeah oh i understand that but they seem to be tight uh tighten the screws recently i'm having trouble finding the info yeah uh, unsung hero uh, the pr and everyone else i'm using brave now i'm using brave browser as my main browser and brave search engine as my main search engine for images and videos right now brave is diverting either to bing or google but they're going to change that up right and find an independent search engine to do your searches right Plutino Chicho, what is your opinion on the uh, on the Economist? Oh God, it's total neocon rag. New job gets it for free, and I want to know your opinion on it. it it's a total neocon rag. It's and it's all it always has been, right? I had a friend, and I, I haven't talked to him for a long long time. I had a sort of a falling out with him when I forgot to go to their wedding. I was partying. <laughs> after after a couple of days of i went oh my god i forgot to go to the wedding he's a really good friend actually i love the guy right and his wife right uh and then and then we we connected up again and we talked and stuff like this but he turned to me he got into banking and he got into managing people's money uh, financial advisor right um and long story short there's a lot going on and stuff like this and i talked to him and he asked me this exact same question hey chicho what do you think about the economist it's a really good magazine i said if you're into wall street if you if you want to know what the neocons are doing if you want to know where wars are going to be if you want to know what's collapsing um stuff like this what what taxpayer money is being spent on annihilated right and if you're interested in getting some of that piece of the pie right then economists by all means you can read it right but take everything they say in regarding in regards to geopolitics with a neoconservative lens which means is bullshit right and just read between the lines uh but as far as the economist goes it's it's a fucking neocon rag right it's a neocon rag the SG Google is literally paid placement. Yeah, not even a hot take. That's how it works. That's how it works. It didn't work that way before, right? Oh my God, you can't even search P uh, sites on uh, Google now. Uh, you get a list of helplines and counseling services. Oh, really? Like porn sites? P is porn sites? I don't even use Google anymore. <laughs> Are you serious? Meanwhile, they're the biggest peddler of porn there is fucking crazy man crazy
By the way, straight up, gang, if you want to know what's going on in society, check this out. Right? Here, here's a perspective from a guy that has lived a few decades. Right? Here's a perspective on a guy that's lived a few decades. Then we're going to end the stream soon, gang. Okay, check this out. Now, back in the 80s and 90s, even in the early 2000s, right? If you wanted, if you wanted to see pole dancing, you went to a strip joint, right? If you wanted to see soft porn, you watch soft porn. You watch Emmanuel, right? In the eighties, Emmanuel and the multiple iterations of it, right? Soft porn, right? Right now, pole dancing is an exercise, and soft porn is reality show like love island so they've taken what used to be on the fringe of society which are strip joints and porn and they repackaged it as different products and they're selling it to the masses right that's the way economics works that's the way investing works that's the way politics works that's the way centralized power tries to financialize the fringe and bring it into the mainstream while repackaging it the way they want right controlling it <laughs> Unsung Hero, Victoria's Secrets magazines. <laughs> Hilarious. John, what's your favorite non P graphic magazine? Uh, heavy Metal. <laughs> good housekeeping, good housekeeping. Oh my god. Brave doesn't uh, block anything. You can get the P you need. Enough said. <laughs> you can get PP. Pee -pee. <laughs> Hilarious. On that note, gang, let's call the stream. My audio for the for the lapel mic hasn't hasn't ended yet, so we're able to keep everyone that's listening to this uh, on the podcast uh, all the way to the end. Uh, mods, thank you for being here, gang. Thank you for the conversation. Haha, <laughs> I do enjoy the manga and real life cat. Haha. <laughs> And free Assange, free Assange, free Assange, gang. Gang, if you want to know what this work is about, I'm on Patreon. Lazy uh, Panda 109. Thank you very much for the follow. Salute, salute. Gang, we're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. You can definitely follow the work there. We do have a Gilded server. You're definitely welcome to join us on the Gilded server. Share information. Just talk. Whatever you want. Free speech, free speech. Oh my God, I bet you're so tired. What time is it there now? It's almost uh, five o'clock in the morning. Yikes, sorry to keep you up so late. Nicholas, <laughs> salute. Gang, we're going to upload this full live stream to Sensor 2. Let's see what it does. Uh, full live stream will also be on Bitchu, Rumble, and Odyssey. And we are live streaming on Rumble and Twitch. For those of you, I'm going to pour a last little bit. We're going to do a salute. Thank you, boss man. Have a great day, night. Indeed. Indeed. Gang, for those of you that are supporting this work on these platforms, for those of you that are joining us on these live streams on Twitch and Rumble, for those of you that are following this work on Bitchu, Rumble, and Odyssey, as well as SensorTube, and a handful of you still supporting this work on SensorTube, those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, Substack, Gang, thank you very much for the support as well as the mods gang we wouldn't be able to do this without the mods salute salute yeah elder god elder god says this stream is sensor tube safe yeah i try to not use certain words uh gang for those of you that like the podcast apologies for my slacking off this summer i just got insanely busy and i was away a little bit on festivals and we had a computer malfunction <laughs> bookcase 
Uh, but I'm going to get back into uploading uh, these audios uh, to soundcloud.com forward slash Chicho as a podcast. And these podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. And we're on Twitter, Minds, Getter, VK, Gab, Substack Notes. You're definitely welcome to follow us there. Gang, I hope you have a fantastic morning, evening, day, afternoon, whatever it might be. Thank you for joining us. And I'll see you guys on Gilded. And I'll be uploading more segments and more full live streams in the next few days and we'll announce uh, live streams for next weekend in a few days gang salute